If you like this video please click on the like button. Comment with the names of the movies you would like us to cover next. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest creations. We cover 100 movies from around the world every day. To advertise with our channel reach out to us. Our contact information is on our channel page. Now, let's move to the plot of this movie. A man wakes up severely injured in a wrecked car near the bottom of a steep ravine. His right leg is broken and stuck between the dashboard and the door. And he is suffering from amnesia. Two other passengers are dead nearby. The man hallucinates about a woman finding him. Single quote. The man scares off a cougar by firing two shots from a revolver he finds inside the car. He hears on the car radio about an armed robbery by a man named Raymond Plazzi. Finding a credit card under the passenger seat in the name of Raymond Plazzi. The man assumes that he is Plazzi. After a few days, he finally manages to pry his leg free. Single quote. The man splints his leg and crawls around the car. He finds bags of money in the trunk. When he starts to crawl up the hill, a man emerges from the woods and starts to loot the car. The man tries to stop the woodsman, who just aims his gun at him before he runs away with some of the stolen money. A Belgian shepherd dog appears, and the man follows it into the woods. He finds a working cell phone inside a cave, discovering the body of the woodsman, who appears to have been attacked by the cougar. The man cannot obtain a cell signal. Single quote. Frequently hallucinating about the woman. He finally shoots her with the revolver after realizing the hallucinations have led him back to the car. He then becomes determined to get out of the ravine. After crawling for days, he finds a road and a dead body with a matching photo ID card that says Raymond Plazzi. He then remembers what happened to him. He was running errands with his wife, the woman, when he witnessed an armed bank robbery, where a security guard is shot and the man is taken hostage by Plazzi. In the present, the cougar appears and the man kicks Plazzi's corpse toward the cougar, which drags it away. The man now has a cell phone signal and calls for help. The man is picked up by a park ranger. When getting in the truck, he asks about the dog, but it is nowhere to be seen. When he clicks his seatbelt on, it triggers a memory of putting on his seatbelt while Plazzi and his two fellow robbers were arguing. With Plazzi holding a gun to the man's head, the man uses their distraction to grab the wheel, causing the car to crash. The scene blacks out.